Okay, today we are talking about humidifier drain water recirculation systems. This is part two. Okay, I had a YouTube comment from a subscriber mentioned concern about a humidifier drain water recirculation system. This is a humidifier drain water recirculation system. If you don't know the way a whole house humidifier works, water goes up into the humidifier, percolates down through a filter pad, and a fan blows air across that pad. That humidity or moisture gets blown into your ductwork to add humidity in your house. Any excess water that is not turned into humidity and used simply drains out the drain line and goes down your floor drain, sink drain, wherever you have the drain hose attached to. So you're essentially wasting water that you're paying for. So my solution was this humidifier drain water recirculation system. Wow. And the way it works, you hook up your cold water supply line here. It's hooked up to this float valve. So that float valve maintains the water level in this five gallon bucket. So as the pump, this little pump pumps the water up to the dehumidifier pad, the water that is not used in the humidifier then drains back down into this bucket and recirculates back up until it's used. And again, the float valve maintains a water level in this bucket so you never run out of water. Your humidifier always has a water supply, but it's never being wasted. It's either getting used or draining back into this bucket. If there ever was an excess water situation for some reason, the excess water would simply flow out of this overflow to your floor drain. So I hope that makes sense. Now to address the, the YouTube comment, uh, the person's concern with using cold water to supply your whole house humidifier. If you have a heat pump HVAC system, then yes, a hot water supply line would be a better option. Because remember, a heat pump, the incoming air coming across the evaporator coil is going to be the cool air from your, your house, but that evaporator coil obviously isn't going to produce as much heat energy as, let's say, an electric heating element. Uh, or if you have a gas furnace with a gas burner, right, that's going to produce uh, more heat energy. So I understand the concern. That's why I say what you can do is simply install a hot water supply line to this five-gallon bucket instead of a cold water supply line. Woo! So as the hot water level drops in the five-gallon bucket, the float valve floats down. That's going to open the valve and allow hot water to fill the bucket back up. When the float floats up, it'll close the valve. You got a full bucket of hot water. And again, same practice here, that water is gonna get recirculated back up to your humidifier pad. And whatever hot water does not get used or blown into your ductwork as humidity will drain down the drain line back into the bucket and get recirculated over and over again. And again, as the water level rises and falls, you're filling it with hot water. If you find for some reason that the water is not hot enough to your liking, they make 120 volt AC single phase uh, heating jackets or heating blankets. It's essentially a little uh, heating jacket that you wrap around the five gallon bucket. It's controlled by a thermostat and it'll keep the bucket nice and warm while you're using your humidifier. And then of course you can turn it off when you're not using your humidifier. Woo! Um, a few things to note. I can tell you from working on whole house humidifiers, 
folks that hook up a hot water supply line to their humidifiers will see a greater amount of calcium and mineral buildup on their humidifier filter pad, uh, may even clog up the solenoid valve that supplies water to the humidifier. So I strongly recommend whether you use hot water or even cold water, make sure you install an inline uh, water conditioning filter that'll help capture a lot of those impurities in the water so you have softer water being fed to your humidifier. Woo! And remember to also change that humidifier pad every season and inspect the humidifier, make sure it's not plugged up anywhere with calcium or mineral deposits. Make sure it's working properly, no leaks. So I hope that, that clarifies that uh, YouTube question that I got. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.